Mm, that is something like this. Suppose this is column. So the length of it is here equals this height, the y, and the parameter. Um, the length of this circle will equals the width of the x here. So um, I just make it like this, and then I press OK. Um, as AutoCAM is a software for mostly 3-axis um, machine, so um, it works, seems nothing different when you're doing a uh, work for uh, uh, flat work. Um, let's just say something, show something to you. I draw some line here. Click and uh, move on my mouse. When I hold control key, it will be keep um, transversely. Then I click again and uh, hit enter key on my keyboard to get this straight line, transverse straight line. Okay, uh, you may, may I have noticed that I put the um, the ends a little out of this working area uh, because I wanted to be overcut a little. So um, when it's on the column, there won't be something not be um, worked. Okay, and now I come to move it to here, and I control C and control V. Then I, sorry, I drag it here. And then Control C, Control V, and here, Control C, Control V. Okay, I select them both and uh, do a, a line to left, and uh, then I can make some simple um, to pass. I think the machine along vector is the one I need. I Take the depth, make it to um, ten millimeter, and the profiling tool. I make it uh, to a V carving this one, this shape, and the material. I set it twelve. And now, okay, and the second one, same, and uh, same 10 millimeter depths, and uh, I change another two, um, maybe something like this. Now, and this one, I make it use an OG tool, something like this. Seems much good. Good. And the last one. Mm. Okay, just try this one. Okay, and in the 3D view, I simulation all the two paths. And this is what we got. 
three lines, straight lines with different shape of tools. Okay. This is what we say in the um, flat work. So can you imagine how it will be look like? Uh, how it look like on when it's wrapped to a column? Um, to make it more clear, I think I can save it as a relief. And then I open it. So I have this relief here. I do this relief, create rotary relief, and wrap X. OK. OK, so this is the thing we have got if we work it on the rotary axis. So in fact, the two paths is nothing different. Is nothing different when we with we um, do in uh, for flat work. It's only the machine itself. It uses rotary instead of the x axis. So that makes the uh, part we make into this column shape. Okay, I think this is just uh, okay and easy, and uh, you can use this way to preview your um, to preview your um, to path um, But in fact, you needn't to save the first uh, four to paths into this relief. And you needn't to use the you needn't use this um, machining relief straight the two pass to to make the two pass that will waste a lot of time. Just use the normal two D um, two pass tools to make the two pass, and that will uh, save lots of time. And, uh, and here I show you another thing to make the a shape of uh, um, a column. Okay, uh, let's from start from the very beginning, and also this size. Uncheck this, make it to this, apply, and uh, here make it zero, apply, Apply. Okay, and here I draw something. Like this. Make it thinner. Select this, hold shift key, select this, and use this extrude tool. Select, select it, select.
subtract, calculate. Something like this. Think it is okay. Relief and uh, create rotary relief. Wrap X. Okay. Okay. Here is the thing. What we we got to will get um, for a column shape. Uh, you can design this. Um, curve precisely and more smoothly in Corel Draw or Illustrator, um, and then import it into ArtCam to do this. That will be better. Okay. Um, here is how to uh, make some simple um, relief um, for a rotary axis. Of course, understand, and the two paths will be the same. Uh, will be the same as we do uh, as we do for in a uh, mm, for two D work. Yes. So just uh, save the two paths as normal is okay. Okay.